A newer, everyday newer. How does land contamination concern SDGs? According to the Urban Renewal Authority, they have launched over 60 redevelopment projects. In redevelopment, we need to care about how the land was operated. How it was operated underlies the potential adversely impact the surrounding neighborhoods and threaten human health and the environment in the new development. Land contamination happens at old abandoned gas stations, for example. Places utilized for boat and ship building or repairing, chemical manufacturing and processing, concrete and asphalt production, motor vehicle repair, petrol filling stations, oil storage installations, metal scrap yards are likely contaminated. Oil installations demolition, improper waste disposal and discharge of waste or polluting matter into the inland waters or water bodies are some causes of land contamination. Land polluted by hazardous substances because of industrial or commercial operations is contaminated land, defined by the Environmental Protection Department of Hong Kong. In Hong Kong, the four types of land, urban residential, rural residential, industrial and public parks, are under the scope of risk-based assessment. The assessment is based on the nature and extent of the potential risks posed to human receptors. Globally, the United Nations regarding the land, soil, contamination has no border, as the contaminants penetrate everywhere without a trace. Such pollution degrades humans' quality of living, causing poverty, against SDG 1 no poverty, and bad health, against SDG 3 good health and well-being. Companies and organizations that set corporate targets based on sustainable development goals, SDGs, should have known better than anyone. Addressing corporate environmental issues and achieving SDGs is essential to themselves and the communities. The scientific-based approach to environmental performance is embedded in the laws that lead to regulated daily operation, reflected in the Environmental Performance or ESG report. The neglect would cause the lawsuit and cost penalty for the improper supply chain management. It is critical to comply with the regulations of the operation, for corporate reputation, for community relations, for the environment, for avoiding penalties, for complying with the regulations. The industries likely or potentially causing land pollution are suggested to hire a professional environmental consultant to assure the function required for regulation complied. 